No, it wasn't the huge one then. So where's the huge one? So she is the huge one. Alright. Notice the time. Fish are always going to hit on the up or the down. A little bouncy. As much dust as I can. I'm going to swing that tail back and forth. You watch a worm underwater. You'll see there's a lot of tail movement like that. What they're doing is they're digging into the dirt. They're going to find something to eat or to hide. It's not the huge one. So again, look at the distance. It's coming in, and that's a low drag. Now I'm going to go back to high and just pull her in. I'm going to yank her in here. Boom. I got 13, 11 mark around the boat. You're going to land the fish. That's it. I don't think there's any more. Now, pay attention to right here. There are two big girls. Everybody goes right over the top of In the afternoon, they move in here. See that little grass? Oh, look at that. We're going to flip in there and grab them. The closer you get to them, the easier it is to get them in the boat. I'm just going to swing that tail. Like that Maybe give it a little bounce. Get that fish's attention. That's funny. Sometimes you'll see the fish charge the bait and then just turn. See, she's pulling away from it. six pounder. So in a tournament, you want to kick or fish, boom, these are them. But we're going to go get some huge girls right now. we got two hours to get them. Like I said, the longer you're on the water, the better. It's already four o'clock. To have a day like this on the water, you're a pro. That's all I'm saying. You know that water very well. Okay, so she ain't interested. I'm right in front of her. And she don't want it. Change the color. Better yet. Give it a completely different look. Completely different tail action. This was a crawdad, she'd been all over it. You can't challenge until you complete all courses. You get Edward's crawdad. It's a game changer. As Mike Iaconelli would say. Game changer! Okay, she ain't interested in that either. Okay, so pull it back in.
sometimes in the afternoon also fish just don't want nothing. You gotta really piss them off. So now we're gonna go into the she ain't hungry, so now we have to go into territory to piss her off. We're looking to get this fish angry at us. Just to hit the bait out of anger. Kind of get an idea where she's going. So she moved a little to give me that spot. Uh -uh. I want to take your spot. Bass are very territorial. They don't want anything in their zone. Got her. Now she got that only because she didn't want that in her zone. That's called it. irritation. Look at that one. Like a fly in your face. Maybe the first time the fly comes by you, you're like, eh, I'm not going to do anything. Then the second time, or the third time, then it gets in your ear, gets around your face, gets in your nose. Now it's irritating you to where now your state of I'm not going to do anything is I'm going to kill that freaking thing, right? All right, let's go get a big fish. I'll pay attention to where I go. You want to come out of that first column right here and head right to this corner. Ooh, look at these girls. These are big girls. So, these are weeds. See a little grass right there? See all these weeds? These are where big fish live. And we're not in that deep water. We're like maybe three to five foot of water. It'll tell you the depth. Okay, we're in four foot of water. Just enough for the boat to get through. I'm in this fish's zone because they're protecting something, probably eggs. Bite. See? And that's also what happens. Other fish are paying attention to what's going on under the water. And they'll come out of nowhere and catch your damn bait. You were after one fish, and then this fish came out of nowhere. It's a small one. Oh, no, it's a medium. It's a nice one. I'll take it. Okay. But we wanted that big girl. So move your bait over just a hair. Cast him.